The Eurasian steppes are massive grasslands that stretch from Eastern Europe to Mongolia. They have been home to some of the most fearsome peoples to terrorize sedentary communities. From the Scythians to the Mongols, the steppe nomads acquired reputations that framed them as hellspawn committed to destroying the civilized world. They rode across the north of the continent, emerging on horseback to plunder the riches of great kingdoms. However, coinciding with the rise of the earliest civilizations, the first tribes to tame the stallions spread out across the world, where their glory would ricochet around the earth. This is Ancestoria, the rise of the horse lords. The Pontic Caspian steppes are located in the area above the Black and the Caspian Seas. Pioneer farmers from the south settled on the borders of these territories and their methods spread beyond the borderlands to the foragers who hunted wild horse and made alcohol from honey. These were the Proto-Indo-Europeans and at first, the initial adoption of cattle and sheep herding was small, beginning around 4800 HE before spreading rapidly across the Pontic Caspian steppes. This is what is known as pastoralism, and it radically changed their culture and created an economic hierarchy previously unknown to the forager. The winters were challenging for the steppe herdsmen, as sheep and cattle faced extreme foraging difficulties in the snow, often starving in the bitterly cold steppes. But just a few hundred years later, they domesticated the horse as they could break through snow and ice, leaving a path for other animals to graze. Our ancestors began to ride on the backs of the horses to better manage their herds beginning sometime before 6300 HE. The addition of horseback riding allowed for the maintenance of significantly larger herds, but only enriched a select few as there was ultimately limited pasture land, producing a new threat for conflict. In order to defeat their enemies, the horse lords formed alliances through kinship and generosity, attempting to amass larger forces than their opponents, even extending these partnerships to those of different cultures. These steppe warriors were not an organized military, only raiding to disrupt harvest or steal cattle. They were unable to pose a threat to fortified settlements, but they were able to quickly retreat after a raid. The steppes became more concerned with power, warfare, and riches. The violence may have dealt a final devastating blow to a rich and elaborate civilization in southern Europe, which had likely already been brought to the brink by a centuries-long cold snap which regularly caused their crops to fail. A few steppe chiefs settled in the region and the descendants of the old cities had to become pastoralists themselves. These people now saw it in their best interest to become the clients of the powerful steppe lords who wielded enormous wealth, adopting their language and customs in return for protection and social status. Wagons spread from Mesopotamia around 6700 HE, and this allowed our ancestors to become truly wide-ranging. Wheels allowed carts and wagons to easily transport their tents, excess food, and drink across the heartlands of the steppes, occupying areas from Europe to the reaches of China, and becoming patrons of earlier inhabitants. While they commanded formidable influence, they were still minorities in their new lands, but huge percentages of the population adopted their language and culture, propelling the Proto-Indo-European ways to be passed down for millennia. Our ancestors thundered their way across Eurasia, penetrating an incredible array of different people. Their descending languages and cultures dominate modern times, including the English, Greek, and Indian regions, tracing their origins back to these peoples. These migrations may have had a violent beginning, but in the end, it was their glory and riches that drew vastly different cultures to accept and adopt the Indo-European conventions. However, their domestication of the horse and the invention of horseback riding began a transformation that would revolutionize warfare. This is Ancestoria, the history of our ancestors. <laughs> 